In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the mirrors for any truck pre 1.40. You might already know the issue I'm talking about. Your mirrors are too bright during the day and too dark at night. I'm going to quickly show you what I mean with uh, one of XPS's old mods. Weight line FLC hasn't been updated since 1.38. Be perfect to test it on. As you can see, if the mirrors were done properly or updated anyway, he has got around to a few trucks 1.43, just not this one yet, which is good because we can use it. Compare the ground to the mirrors, you can see how different they are. The mirrors are way too bright compared to the ground, which doesn't look too bad at the moment. When you get the sun shining or at night time, you're really going to struggle. I'm going to exit out, open up Blender and then show you how to fix it. Don't forget to make a work folder. And then set your work folder on the SES project base path on the right. File, import, and SES models, convert the pics and blend tools. Don't forget to set extra archive. In our case, it's going to be ETS2 base.scs. Click on the archive and click add. Now we're going to navigate to our mod folder. When you found it, click it and then click import. Vehicle truck, and then you'll have to find your brand. In my case, Freightliner FLC accessory, and then go down to mirror or mirrors, whatever they've named it. Now you'll get a list here. You only want to do interior. Don't worry about the rest because they're exterior. They're not going to have the reflection that we're going to want to model, uh, modify. Do mirror 01 interior, and you've also got mirror 2. Import on that. And because we've got the basic SES as an archive, it's not going to give us any errors. From the viewport shading as material mode. Should see this one close, one far. Are we going to worry about the orange? Highlighted bits. This is fine. On there, click on material on the right. It's pretty much done. On the fuse, you want to take it all the way down to zero. Specular, going to be zero as well. Shininess can be kept at four. Ambient is zero. Reflection is zero. Luminance output on the first one, minus one, press enter. Now it says day and night here. I've been told it's actually reversed. As in, this is night and this is day. I don't know if that's true or not, but it's the way I've been doing it on a few older trucks and it's fine. So again, on the other mirror, bring diffuse down to zero. Again, keep shininess on four, ambient on zero. Reflection on zero, and on the first luminance output option, minus one, and press enter. And you've just fixed your mirrors. What you're going to do now is export. Go to output properties, export path, and in your project base path, you should have these material on a vehicle. Vehicle, truck, truck brand, accessory, mirror. And you will see a PIM file. Select and this path will fill out. Select the game object now. Your X, Y, and Z axis should be highlighted. And click export. It should be done that quick. You shouldn't have any errors if you've done it properly. The last thing in Blender is to give it a name. So FLC mirrors. You don't have to copy anything over at this stage. You can just enable the packed mod in your mod manager or 
you can copy over the files from this mod we're exporting into the main truck mod. Both ways will work fine. See, so it should read your truck game and then mod, then call it something mirrors just so you know what it is. Zip uncompressed, only clean and only convert should be ticked. You don't need to click export. We've done that previously. When that's all done, click pack. And that's done, you're going to open your game. And we are going to enable the mod. See FLC mirrors and put it on top of the truck mod. I should have got round to this when 140 dropped. Uh, so I'm a bit late getting to it, but it is still relevant. So I felt I should do it, and I did promise I would do it in the first place. So we look to our left now. Okay, these must be the wrong mirrors. In one second. Because there's two interior mirrors, I think we've got the wrong one. Don't worry about the sound because it hasn't been updated properly, you won't have sound. Area. There we go, look. So because there's two interior mirror options, this is obviously the one we've done, and this is interior O2, which we haven't done. As you can see, when we select the first option, if you compare the ground in the mirror, the ground in the garage, it's different. Buy this mirror. Bit of a keybind for that. See, as you can see, it matches the ground, and the mirrors are correct on both sides. Quickly change the time to two in the morning. You can see it looks almost exactly the same as it does outside. And then obviously to fix the other mirror you would select show you quickly. Delete this one now, all of it. Go to file, import. SCS models. Find your mod again. And this time we're going to do mirror O2 interior. So any that say interior or INT, int, etc., you want to do. Now we know these haven't been done. See? Remember we selected these in the garage and they weren't done. So now we've got four to do. Again, diffuse on nothing. Might be RGB or HSV, just make sure they all read zero and you're fine. Or shininess, no ambient, no reflection, but you want minus one on the first luminance output option. I'm gonna do this. Each reflection piece. You can see how easy it's done. Probably even barely 10 minutes to be. One, you're done. Make sure the game object's selected. Export and pack. Back into the game. You won't need to enable a different mod because we've already enabled it. It's overwritten and added. We've already done. It's going to be nice and quick. I was worried at first that the change didn't happen, but I didn't know how many mirrors the truck actually had before. Okay. Uh, so into the garage, into the interior, back your mirrors, and hey presto, all the mirrors are now fixed. And that is how you do your mirrors. To show you in the daytime on this one. And they're both sorted. 
So that covers that. I hope it was helpful. Didn't take too long. Something I should have done before. Uh, finally got around to doing it. In my very busy schedule of doing nothing. Uh, I'll see you next time. I don't know what the next video is going to be. I'll have to give that a think. Maybe some more mod reviews. Or showcases. Whatever comes up. Maybe a bit of Elden Ring. If I feel like it. Yeah, now, now you know how to fix your mirrors, have fun with them and take care and I'll see you later.